Hello, it's Karen Turner. What's your favourite feature in Excel 2010? One of mine is the way that you can create a table from a group of related data. I'll just click my mouse and I'll use a shortcut key, Control and T, to create a table. You see, Excel has already guessed where the table is. And it's already put a tick in the box to say my table has headers. So if I say OK, Excel will then format the table, putting headers and filters onto each column heading. I'm going to add another column heading here, total value. And as I click on enter, it formats it the same as the rest of the table. If I click on equals, I put a square bracket, it offers me the headings from the table. I'm going to choose price and double click to save me typing it in. I'll then put an end square bracket. Do you see that it's put the colour blue around the word price and it's also identified all the data in that column with the blue border. I'm now going to use the multiply symbol, which is the asterisk, to times it by quantity, so square brackets, and I'll use the quantity column. Put an end square bracket and you'll see that one's green and the data that it refers to has got a green border on now. So I'll just press enter and this is the amazing thing. It will calculate it throughout the table, no matter how long my table was. These structured references have another advantage. You don't need to rewrite formulas as you add or delete rows in your table. So if we weren't going to sell snakes anymore and I want to delete that out, it doesn't make any difference at all to my table. Because if you look up here on the formula bar, you can see the formula is the same for this row, equals price times quantity, as it is for that one. It doesn't change. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate something else here. With Table Tools ribbon that has now appeared, I have a Design tab and I could add total rows into my table. And you'll notice it's come up with the totals row here. This is a grand total for all the values of the stock. If I click onto that, you can see that there's a little drop down box there. I'm going to show you first of all up here in the formula bar that it's a subtotal formula. And it has the number 109, which is for a sum, comma, in square brackets total value. So it's summing everything in the total value column. And just here, there's a the grand total. So if I drop it down, you can see sum is the one it was on. What if I wanted to know the average total value? then it will change. If I just wanted to count how many items there were, I've got 10 items. Notice up here that the subtotal is now 103, and that's for a count. So if I want to filter some of my values now, I can do that. So if I only want to see items that cost between, say, £10 and £12, it's only counting three. If I go back to sum, value, 13,650. That is the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much.